Hi, I'm Assembly Speaker Jeff Fitzgerald, candidate for United States Senate. When I was sworn in as, as Speaker of the 100th session of the Assembly, I told members that this would be the most difficult session you ever served in. We tried to do th two things here in Wisconsin. We tried to get people back to work again here by putting policies in place to make it more friendly to do business and expand business in Wisconsin. And we tried to take care of our fiscal debt that we've had for over 10 years. We balanced a $3.6 billion deficit and we did it without raising taxes. Tough decisions had to be made, but in the end, we have this state on the right track. The problems we face in Washington, D.C. are the same problems we face here in the state. We are not competitive in a global market. We are now have the most highly taxed rate in the entire industrialized world. We also have the highest regulatory climate here in this country. These are things we have to fix to get people working again in, in this country. Next, we have to take care of our $16 trillion debt. That is weighing down on the country. And when we look at it, 40 cents on every dollar is borrowed from foreign countries. The same way we did collective bargaining reform here in the state of Wisconsin because it was unsustainable, we have to do entitlement reform in Washington, D.C. When you look at Medicare, Medicaid, Social Security, and the interest on our debt, by the middle of next decade, all dollars coming into the federal government will have to go for just those four programs. We need to get control of this and get control of our spending because we are heading towards a financial cliff. And if we don't do something soon, we could look like any of the European societies we see today, Greece, Spain, or Portugal. So it is important for us to get back on the right track, get competitive as a country again, and move this country in, in the right path. Now this takes difficult decisions. So we need to elect candidates that have political courage, people that aren't worried about their next election, but are worried about that next generation. Thank you for the time to speak with you, and I appreciate your support. Thank you.